and welcome to your gold market update for today the 31st of august 2022 mike smith senior analyst of gold markets here with your daily meander around the markets let's check out on what's happening on the news today first of all of course u.s markets last night continued their slide downwards we had a uh, fed member williams being quite hawkish in terms of the comments relating to the potential or rather the non-potential of an interest rate cut next year the next couple of days could be critical regarding overall market sentiment with key data due out particularly u.s jobs data the U.S. futures are, however, mildly positive in Asian trading. Asian indices are off their lows, but still following that weaker U.S. lead. ASX is down around 0.4% in early trading, uh, but also European futures are, at this stage, suggesting a mildly positive open. The U.S. dollar index hasn't moved much over the last 24 hours. In fact, the last couple of days, it's still pausing around those 20-year highs. Gold has dropped below 1735 key level, and oil also dropped yesterday, back to its 200 EMA, just below $100 on the Brent crude CFD contract. Interestingly and technically important, copper has broken to the downside out of the range it's been trading in for some time. It's now through 360 support. Uh, the VIX paused also below that key 25 level and the 200 EMA. Really not movement, not a lot of movement since yesterday. Bitcoin is testing $20,000 to the downside again as enthusiasm for investing in crypto seems to be very low at this stage. On the data front, we've got Chinese PMI data, German employment, and of course, the first of those three key US jobs data points. We've got the US ADP report out tonight, and then we've got Canadian GDP out later, which will impact on the Canadian dollar pairs, of course. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. I want to start with a Kiwi Yen. If we look here at the daily chart, you can see it's been trading in a range for the last three weeks or so between 84.30 and 85.30. So around about 100 pip range. You can see it's bounced off that resistance again to the downside. Let's just see where that sits like in the shorter term chart. You can see this double top type of formation paused a little bit around this confirmation point at 85. But now we're through 85. And look as though we could move down uh, possibly towards this sort of 8460 level uh, and maybe even to test this 8430 level over the next 24 hours or so. Just be aware of the data that's coming out later, but at this stage, this looks technically interesting. In the ASX, we're having a look again at PLS in the lithium space. Very good movement this week again. We started with a weekly chart simply because we wanted to demonstrate where previous resistance could be. And you can see there it's fairly clearly at around about 367. Bring this to the daily chart and you can see we're pushed hard up against this level and a move above this would be technically important and also be the high close that we've seen since that last test. You can see here back in April, we played with it intraday but didn't manage to close above this. So that is worth having a check in on, perhaps at the end of the trading day. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.